Hello everyone, mommy and daddy, mari and pare, friends, relatives, here and there, far and, and abroad. Welcome to our to our Jossel's Kitchen again. Now we are going to cook crispy pata. Crispy pata with matching eggplant, baked eggplant and the crispy pata. They look like this because it came from the freezer. We boiled this last yesterday and make it uh, overnight. So we put it inside the fridge and then here's the result after we boil it for about an hour. And then so we put salt and pepper, bay leaf to boil it for an hour frozen and this is the result and after this we are going to bake it to make it crispy tender and delicious so i'm going to cut this already like the like this the eggplant the round eggplant now i'm going to show you also how to cut this long eggplant just like that just like that Put in there. Look, this is healthy. It's colorful. Antioxidant, as they said. No? So if you eat this, it's healthy. And also the crispy pata. It's healthy. It's balanced, you know. You don't eat only the crispy pata, but it will be balanced when there's a sauce like the vinegar. So now I'm going to pour the salt and the pepper, just like that, like that. And of course, the olive oil, just like that. And toss them. Colorful green violet pair with my crispy pata. Later you're gonna see, and I'm going to make a sauce for that. It's vinegar sauce. Let us just put uh, olive oil, also pepper, and salt later for the sauce. Okay, see you later. Oh, by the way, we are going to put now the crispy pata. We're going to put the crispy pata inside. It's 400 degrees at 135 minutes. Now we're going to put it now. There you go. Bake this for about one hour and 30 minutes. And also our vegetables to be paired with the crispy pata. And you will see later it's crispy, tender, and golden brown. Okay, see you later. Now we're going to prepare our sauce for the crispy pata, crispy pata. So this one, like this, the garlic, it's like that. And I'm going to pound it this way. And then, so it's pounded just like that. Get it from the from here, mortar and pestle, put it there. So so that is the garlic pounded. There you go. Five cloves of garlic. Put the salt, three four teaspoon, three four teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're going to put the apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar just like that i think this one cup and stir it and stir it and stir it this way stir it stir it so the salt will melt so this is our sauce for the for the crispy pata and also we have these vegetables, eggplant baked also, baked. The 
let's bake and then now our main course the crispy pata there you go look at that we bake it so that it will be healthy we did not fry it okay so look at that golden brown i'm sure it is yummy now now here is our golden brown crispy pata look at that look shiny golden brown and i believe this will be tasty and delicious so i'm going to put it down and i'm going to show you how to cut that and also we have our baked tofu look at that so golden brown delicious and it will be yummy too okay put it there now i'm going to cut one of these it's too hot so i have my knife and look look at that it's so there you go i'm going to put it stick in the pan so anyway we're going to cut it okay because it's still hot but you have to uh, let it to cool down so now I'm going to chop it look at look it again please try try to look it again you see that golden brown and it's still hot so this is the way you, you see it's tender because you bake it tender. I hit the bone sorry for that and there you go just like that I have to cut it this way and put in the serving plate like this okay hello again now we are on the table here in our table so this is our finished product look at that the crispy pata which i chopped and this is the golden brown look at it and this is our baked tofu our baked eggplant and the sauce that we made there's an additional sauce which which i just put the soy sauce we have cherry uh kiwi for dessert so this is our food now so before before i eat let us capitalize so before we put this crispy pata in the oven we boil it before the day like uh, we wash it the four pieces of pata wash it and rub it with uh, salt and pepper and sage and oregano and thyme so the smell will go away so after that we put it in the oven bake it for two hours uh, one cup of water in the caldero so a cup of water in the caldero and put the pata bake it for two hours and then after the day the next day then we bake it again to make it crispy okay so let's sit and taste this golden brown crispy pata with rice of course so i'm going to get this so we forgot uh the serving the serving spoon again <laughs> funny eh? okay so i'll take some of this crispy pata like this look at this the other side and tofu just like that and one eggplant then stir the soy sauce the sauce that's the soy sauce the sauce vinegar apple cider vinegar put in that way put like that and if your choice if you want it uh, with uh, mang tomas so i'm going to taste this 
tofu and my crispy butter. Mmm. So tender. And the tofu. Tender too. And my what do you call this? The eggplant, the fish eggplant. Okay. One for you, one for me. Hmm. It melts in your mouth. Let me see. Another piece of the crispy pata. Okay, let me see. Crispy, tender. Mm. So yummy and tasty. I love it, you know. I hope you like it too. So now, all I can say is that the crispy pada is so delicious, yummy, tender. With a side dish, the tofu and the eggplant. The meal is done and the family will eat now. And again, man, don't live on bread alone, but also from the word of God. Be happy, be kind, be generous. And after all, we must live happily. God bless and thank you.